Hello, I'm Chris Heilman from Mozilla and I quickly want to show you something cool that's right now in Firefox Nightly 29 and landed more or less today. And what that is, is actually CSM custom properties, as the W3C calls it, or variables as we like to call it. So let me take you uh, on a quick trip and show you what, that's th what that looks like. In this case, we now have a body with, a, with just a font setting and a text transform and an article with a header inside and a header. If I want to define a variable in CSS right now, all I have to do is use the var keyword. So I can say var dash uh, background, for example, and define that as a dark gray. If I want to use this right now, all I have to do is I call the var function, so to say. So I can say background var, and then I just say background here. And that now gets the 0999 that we defined here. So if I run this, you can see that all the headers now get a dark gray. This is in context. So this case now the variable is background is a dark gray in the body, but I can set a different context here and can overwrite it as well. So I can say in widget, define the background variable as a lighter gray. So in this case, it's CCC. And if I run this now, then only the second one will, will get a lighter gray. I can now put another header in there or copy and paste this one, which it was ah, probably faster if I typed it, but fair enough. And when I run this now, this one gets a darker one as well. You can set all kind of things as variables. So I can say, for example, var equals uh, width or header width. And I set this to, a, this to 100 pixels then I can define this here as the width as well. So width equals var header width. And this one now, when I run it, applies it to all of them. It can also just define it in the other one. So I can move this now into the widget and it's not defined here. So it's still applied to all the H1s, but as it's not defined in the main context, it will only be applied to the header inside the widget. I can do all kinds of stuff with that. I can even calculate with it. So I can say, for example, instead of defining the width or having the width here, I can put a calc around that and divide it by two, for example. And if I run this now, I get half the width applied to that one. You can put it inside CSS media queries. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. It also, be used, it also can be used inline if you're an evil, evil person. Then you can say, for example, style equals var dash header width equals 120 pixels and if I run this now this will define that one as 120 pixels although it has not been defined inside the main context the context now is the inline style here so this one allows us to use things that we do with preprocessors right now right in the browser and that's live right now in Firefox 29 if you want to know more about this, there is a great blog post by my colleague Cameron McCormack, who sounds like a hero in a Scottish movie, but actually is from Australia. So take a look at that. He's got all kinds of information and demos here as well. And the specifications are on the W3C website. And if you want to try something out and you find a bug, please file a bug for us. So there you go, CSS variables in Firefox Nightly.